everybody and welcome back to C.L. Aldridge Art for a new video. Uh, we do have some new toys in the house today. Uh, for those of you who already know me, uh, hello. And for those who don't, my name is Christine Aldridge. I am an artist. I do draw coloring books for a living. Uh, this is my most recent release, which is Dragons, Flowers, and Mandalas, Oh My. It does join my family of other coloring books, uh, all of which are available in print uh, at Amazon worldwide, all locations, and uh, on Etsy, of course, in my Etsy shop as PDF files. Uh, if you would like to, you may follow me on social media at Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I am CL Aldridge Art in all places. Additionally, I do have a coloring group a fan coloring group called C.L. Aldridge's um, Coloring in Bloom Coloring Club. It's a long name. Uh, and there are links to all of those below in my video description, should you care to join me. Uh, we do have member discounts uh, for the members of the group, uh, as well as um, other benefits. Uh, my little friend who has joined me today is my cat Coriander. Uh, she is uh, has traditionally never been allowed up on my desk. Uh, I'm not quite certain what happened, uh, but she seems to have made it her home. Uh, I have thrown her off, I don't know, a thousand times maybe in the last uh, two weeks and she just keeps coming back. So I finally uh, relented and here she is. She's gonna help me color today uh, or do something. Uh, why not? Other people have cats in their videos. Why can't I? The other day I was coloring on um, uh, a particular drawing. We were using the Jane Davenport uh, uh, birthday suit pastels, uh, which are pan pastels. And I said I didn't have any official pan pastels. And look what Lisa, my dear friend Lisa from over at Lisa's Coloring Corner. If you are not familiar with her channel, please go check it out. Uh, sent to me. So she sent me the soft tools, which are uh, soft, the colorless blender, and then, ooh, wait for it, a really cool set of floral blues. Now, um, I am all about making the most of limited color palettes. So the idea that I don't have a whole lot of colors helps my mind work. And so this is absolutely perfect. There are seven colors here. They are obviously already coordinated because Pan Pastel has put them together in a set. So I already know they're all going to look fabulous together. And these are the types of things that you can do with these pan pastels. Now, one of the cool things I love, and one of the things that makes these wonderful um, seven color sets so great to get, is look, they come with their own, um, you know, with, with a palette, with a free palette uh, to hold your um, things. So I've got a spot already for my colorless blender to fit right in there. Now, the ones that have, these are actually designed so that they screw together in a stack. So you can just use your palette for the ones that you want to have out at the time. So you've got a handy thing to hold everything. And so you can then um, just screw the things together like this. And let's say you want to put your blue palette away, then you just do that. Set also comes with tools, with a little mini palette. Now, this is a uh, sponge that you can either use to blend and mix your shades on, or uh, you can use it like, uh, uh, you know, a, to fill a wider area and use it as a soft uh, application tool. The tools 
just like the uh, ends of them, come in two separate shapes and they just slide right over. Now these are supposed to be different uh, texture or a different feel than makeup sponges. I I, I, I guess I'm going to have to say people who uh, know more than I do have said that these are not typical makeup sponges, but they feel, as far as texture and substance goes, they feel just exactly like these. Each one on the bottom is labeled. Uh, this one is the Thalo Blue Shade, and... This one is the ultramarine blue shade, but when it's mixed with, or when there's white, which there is obviously in this pastel, then it is the thalo blue tint. What I now understand, uh, a base color or a, a true color mixed with white makes a tint mixed with black makes a shade. See, I didn't know that. So these are all to the darker side, but this one, like this purple one, is a violet tint because it's violet mixed with white. So it is that. Now what I don't know is if you mix the violet with the blue, with the dark blue, will you get a purple? because the example that they have on the outside of the package shows a purple. So I'm thinking that that is in fact the case, assuming that they used this set to do these flowers. Yes, you're adorable, but stop Stop pushing it. Stop pushing it, baby girl. Okay. Oh, I could do that. I could do that. That's a nice look. Like a leaf that sort of curls over like that. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's see about making a pretty blue flower. Let's go here. I think we have a uh, camera hog star is born going along here. <coughs> she seems a little fascinated with what I'm doing here. Okay, now let's see here. Let's take another bit of the green come off this way. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. I'm sorry, but you pushed it too far. Uh huh. Yeah, go away. Go away, honey. I'm liking it. Wait. 
Okay, now let's see if we can do something a little bit different. I like it. I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. All right, I could definitely do a whole page of just playing with flowers. Huh? Uh, let's see, what, what kind of a flower? Uh, yeah. Something with four sort of rounded leaves like this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Sorry. It's my bad for not paying attention to what you were actually playing with. Just glad you were playing with something. Look at how pretty these are. I'll tell you one of the things that's helping me with this right now is the fact that I have been watching all of these um, watercolor videos. And so I'm really starting to get the, you know, the, the idea that it doesn't have to be perfect. You know? And how to use negative space, that kind of thing. Oops. Shake off some of that pastel dust. I love these. I absolutely love these. But I thought that I would See if I couldn't get that purple shade going on here. Maybe it's just a matter of not being quite so heavy duty with it. And, uh, but you can see you can get some really gorgeous blends with that. This has all sorts of different shapes in it, too. Okay, so we've got... Okay, so there's that shape. Then there's a square one. There's a narrow one. And then there's the trowel one. Okay, and so this has... Oh, look! Look, there are more shapes in here. That's why. Lisa, you know, it occurs to me as I read and I listened to this back that the one thing I didn't say was thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. You are just wonderful. Um, like I say, I am, <coughs> you know, uh, wow, I was just, I was so happy when you contacted me and said you were sending something, but you just floor me. You guys floor me with your generosity. It is so wonderful. Um, okay, so we have, uh, these are the, the shapes that it comes. There's those ones. 
which are different than, okay, so we've, I've got one with this shape and I've got one with this shape. So we're going to take those two shapes and put them away. So now we're going to load up the square one. I've got a total of four tools and four different shapes. So we've tried these two. Let's try this one. And actually, we can go back to this. We can go back to this one. And let's see. Let's start with... Well, I think that's half the fun. Half the fun is blending out these colors to see what you can get. So that is a mixture of the blue and the green together. What I'm trying to do is see if I can get a little more defined shapes. And let's see here. Let's go with a little of this, which is the lighter. That is so pretty. Okay. Hmm. Just trying to decide what kind of a, I want to make an interesting flower here. So maybe something with a center crown like that and these blue guys flowing off of it. Maybe make those a little bit bigger. Okay. Oops. Tap that off in the trash. And all right, now Let's see, let's use the side of this tool instead of the base to see if I can get a little bit more delicate of a stem. And then I can use it to Create a little bit of a well, I've got the shape on that wrong. That's okay. have to, I should stop, there we go, let's do that, there we go, put a little stem on it.
this back. Just sort of tapping it off. Okay. And this needs one more, uh, one more of the little stems off of it. Okay. So now we have that. Oh man, I'll tell you what. I have to say, I absolutely love these pan pastels. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. They, they are, they are like my thing again. Like the water mediums. Uh, and um, I, I just love every art supply I touch. And so, anyway, um, everybody, this video was originally a lot longer. I did a lot more experiments. I experimented with, uh, you know, some gradations there. I even did a rather failed landscape. Uh, but I did cut all of that out uh, just in the in because... I realize that by the time that you see this, it is already Sunday. I am going to be streaming later today. We will, in fact, be coloring Jane F. Hankins' uh, Lunar uh, Moth or Gypsy Moth. And uh, I would, of course, like it if you would consider purchasing my book, which is Dragons, Flowers, and Mandalas, Oh My, or any of my other books. And until we meet at 2 o'clock for a live, uh, color something pretty. See you then. Thanks, Lisa.